why does it happen that whenever I take up something to do, there is always a fear, a thought regarding others, regarding whether I would be appreciated for it, regarding whether the results would be acceptable to others, regarding whether this action is sanctioned by others. How many of you face this dilemma that when you get up to do something, whenever there is an action or decision needed in life, you are always looking towards others for their approval? Yes, how many of you does it happen? So many of us. So it is not only a Manchu's question, this question belongs to many others as well. <coughs> If I do something purely for myself, then obviously I would not need to look at others. If I do something purely for myself, then obviously I will not need to look at others. But do we ever do anything purely for ourselves? If you are fundamentally acting, doing, thinking because of others and for others, then it is inevitable that others will become a dominating force in your life. That is bound to happen. Are you willing yet? Let's take an example. When you get your mark sheet, usually the dominant fear is not that your marks would be less. The important fear in your mind is how would I show this sheet to others? What would my parents think? What would the teachers and my friends think? And ultimately I have to show this mark sheet to an employer as well. Right? So even a basic thing, a fundamental thing like studying like learning, like gaining knowledge is not actually being done by you for yourself. It is being done for somebody else's sake. Now obviously if I am not studying for my own enjoyment, then my overriding concern will be marks. I would always be worried as to how many marks I am going to get. Are you getting it? Hmm? And those marks will not be important to me as such. Those marks will be important so that I can show them to others. Are you getting it? Consider very basic things in life. You sit at home and you are in one kind of dress. And it's a comfortable dress. Let's say a general t-shirt and a pair of jeans. Now the moment you have to go out, you want to change your dress, you want to change your attire. There can be two reasons for trying to change your dress. The first reason could be that it is hot outside, so I need to change my dress. Or that it is windy or cold outside, so I need to take a coat or a muslin. That could be one reason. But do we change clothes purely because of weather conditions? Have you ever wondered why you must change clothes when you go outside or when you go to a party? Is it purely because of your own comfort and the weather factor? It is much more so because you want 
to show something to others. Others have penetrated so deep in our life that they dictate even very basic things like motives of life, motives of study, motive of working, even the motive of wearing clothes. Is it not a great degree of dependency that even clothes are being worn, keeping in mind what the others will think of me? Yes, isn't that a great dependency? See how others are present in everything we do from morning till evening. You come to the college, most of us, on most of the days, we come to the college not because we find enjoyment in study, we come because some other factor, some other person is pushing us. Because there is an attendance requirement stipulated by some other person. And if that other person relaxes the requirement, then you will be contented not to come to the college. You will be happy enough. So even the very basic thing like going to a educational institution is happening because of an other. Because of the domination and presence of somebody else. Are you getting it? Then look at the way you study. The day the examination date sheet comes. That is the day you want to go to your books. Now are you going to your books because you love being with the book, because you love studying? Or because you are under the pressure of that other who has put up the date sheet? Now the date sheet has come and then you didn't make the date sheet, right? Did you make that date sheet? No. Somebody else makes that date sheet and shows it to you and now you start studying. In every single movement of our life, we are slaves to an other. Are you getting it? There is very little that we do on our own. Purely coming from our free will or our intelligence. There is always this big and powerful other. Right, Manshu? You need to find that out. All of you are young, but all of you are not so young that you need to be immature. Maturity awaits all of us and maturity means independence. Maturity means freedom from the domination of the other. Physically already we are all mature. Now mental maturity awaits us. Mental maturity means that I have an open and free mind which is not living under the pressure of, under the fear of, under the influence of other. Are you getting it? It can think on its own, it can know on its own and hence it comes to a decision of its own. Information it will take from outside, alright. But it will not take a decision from outside. It will take inputs from outside, but understanding would be its own. That is what is meant by being young. That is what is meant by being mature. Yes? <coughs>